Alexandra joins us in San Jose, California. Alexandra, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. It's a pleasure speaking with you. Oh, it's all my pleasure. What's going on today? Um, So I'm in a situation at work. I'm being bullied. And um, I reported it to my manager already. But after I had reported it to her, I found out from two colleagues of mine that they're actually friends. And due to this, I lost trust in my manager. And I just really need your help. I Honestly, I'm looking for more jobs. I have a couple that I have an interview for. um, But right now, I just really need your help. Yeah. What's happening? What what are you comfortable to tell me as it relates to the bullying? What's happening? Um, so this person micromanages me. She's not a manager. She cuts me off. She interrupts me a lot. And I just don't feel like I'm being appreciated. I feel like I'm being under, undervalued at work. I am quite new to the company. How long you been there? Um, I've only been there. For, it's been a couple months. Okay. And the person that's bullying you is not your leader. She is not, no. And how long ago did you tell your leader about the bullying? I told her it's been like, I think, a couple weeks now. And nothing week, happened? Maybe. Nothing happened? And she hasn't given me an update. I work in retail, and I have seven years of experience in working in retail. Yeah. And usually, you know, the other people that I've worked for, they give me an update as soon as possible yeah. after they talk with the person. Is, who is So if you're in retail, is your manager, uh, has your manager been with you too, the person who's bullying you and yourself at the same time on the floor at the same time? Um, she sometimes will come on the floor if we ever, you know, call her for help, if we need like an override for a return or whatever. Yeah. But, um, she usually is in her office or she's somehow on the floor, but she's never in the same um, area as we are. Okay. So let me, let me, let me dive into something. And I, I don't want you to hear that. I don't understand your emotions, but can I also tell you that I don't think this is what I would call. Uh, something you can't recover from, and I would call this mild bullying. Because a, a a coworker who has no power over you is is taking on the form of a bully. But the way we handle bullies is we stand up to bullies and we go, "Hey, back off!" Bully pushes you, you push bully. And what you've told me is is that she micromanages you, and she's not your leader, which means. She's making obnoxious suggestions. She's actually not micromanaging you. She can't micromanage you because she's not your manager. Are you with me? Yes. She has zero power, at least positionally. She does have power over you psychologically right now. Is it a she? I guess I shouldn't say she. I didn't know. Is it a she or a yes. he? Yeah, it's a, it's a woman. Okay. She has psychological power over you right now, and I'm hoping to take that back right here, right now. But she has no positional power over you. True or false? True. So the next time she tells you how to do something, you either have one or two responses. You can either give her the silent treatment, which really drives control freaks nuts. Or you can just Mm -hmm. look at her and go, you know what? It occurs to me I've let you push me around like a schoolyard bully with all of your suggestions and interruptions, and you have no positional power over me, and so you're going to stop. And if you don't stop, it doesn't matter because I'm not listening to you. I'm no longer going to listen to anything you have to say unless you're going to be healthy and nice. Now, you can personalize that however you want to say that. I have tried to tell her that there was one day where she did snap at me in front of customers, a long line of customers. Um, it was the right, it was the day right before president's day actually. Okay. And, um, she snapped at me in front of customers. Customer was doing a return Yeah. and she snapped at me. And there was also a long line of customers behind the person that I was taking care of. And I tried to tell her like, you cannot speak to me that way. That's not okay. And she would not let me talk. She just kept cutting me off. She kept interrupting me. Okay, so my point is, she's a stronger personality than you, so you have to have strength in ignoring her. And here's what you should do the next time she does it in front of customers. You need to go apologize to the customer. Go, I'm so sorry for uh, Roseanne's name. Some some reason I chose Roseanne. Feels like this woman's (laughs) a Roseanne. Okay, and I'm sorry for her behavior and ignore her. She hears you say it, 
You just go, I apologize. She's having a rough day. I'm not sure what's going on. And keep dealing with the customer. You have got to take the power back. Now, here's the deal. This is all for the temporary. You need to find some place else that's a much better environment. But until then, take your power back. Ignore her. Ignore her altogether. 